Good morning, everyone. It's already Palm Sunday and the beginning of Holy Week. I'm excited for Holy Week in various different ways, but apart from the spiritual reasons, you know, I gave up humor for the season of Lent, so I'm most excited to bring back humor to these announcements. Anyhow, speaking of Holy Week, the Holy Week schedule is as follows. Monday Thursday service will be this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Activity Center. Good Friday service will be this Friday at 7 p.m. in the Sanctuary. And Easter Sunday service will be next Sunday, March 31st. And Contemporary service will be at 9 a.m. And Traditional service will be at 11 a.m. A big Easter tradition is Easter lilies. And today is the last day to order Easter lilies. They may be given in honor or memory of a special person or persons in your life. The list List of honoraries will be printed in the bulletin on Easter Sunday and lilies may be taken home following the worship service on Easter Sunday next week. Please contact Kendall at trinityarl.org for further details. For those of you who have called the church, many of you know that one of my role as a staff member is to receive phone calls, and we've been receiving a lot of phone calls about Easter egg hunt. Yes, we do have an Easter egg hunt this year, but it is going to be a little bit different. It'll be a come and go event where we walk through the Easter message in interactive ways with an egg hunt for kids at 5 p.m. If you'd like to drop off donations of filled eggs, you can find the donation buckets at church entrances. By the way, we need donations of filled eggs and we need to get as many as possible. So please donate filled eggs. Also, please make sure that there are no chocolates in these eggs because chocolate will melt. If you have any questions or would like to help, please reach out to Carly at trinityarl.org. Going with the theme of children's ministry, summer camp registration opens on April 1st. Please visit trinityarl.org forward slash summer camp on April 1st and sign up. For the next announcement, let's turn it over to Evan White, our student ministry director. Hello Trinity, real quick, I want to let you know that mission trip, uh, the deadline for our mission trip is March 31st. So if you are interested, if you have a student or someone you know from middle school or high school to be a part, please email me at evan at trinityarl.org and I will send you the link. Hope you could come so we could be amazing to go on Troy, Texas for mission trip. Thank you so much, Evan. Now let's talk about Wednesday nights. For dinner this week, we have chicken crepes with spinach cream sauce, basmati rice, steamed broccoli, rolls, and ice cream for dessert. As you know, we have a Lenten Bible study on Wednesday nights called Crossroads, which we are posting as a podcast. The podcasts are released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 6 a.m. The thought behind it is that you can listen to the podcast on your way to work or first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee. To watch or listen to our podcasts, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch it or go to www.buzzsprout.com forward slash 22397775 and see the list of places where our podcast is listed. Listings include Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music, among many others. You might be thinking to yourself, I've been attending Crossroads and I don't know what to do after Crossroads is finished. Do not fear, we have a brand new Bible study led by Nancy Palavacini about the particle sun called Two Suns. It's a six-week session where your eyes will be opened to the powerful message of Jesus' best known and yet least understood parable, the parable of the particle sun. This study will change the devout and the skeptic alike to see Christianity in a whole new way. The last announcement is about our former youth director and children's director. Justin and Devani. They're getting married and we are having a marriage shower on April 7th and more details on it will be coming next week. That's it for the announcements this week. If you have social media, please make sure to follow us on all of our platforms to keep up to date with what's going on around the church. And I mean all of them. You'll find out more about what I'm talking about next week. All right, friends, see you on the next one.